Hello everyone, welcome in Coolity Help. In this video tutorial, you will learn download and installation of NetBeans 11 on Windows 10. Guys, there is a prerequisite for the installation of uh, NetBeans 11. We need JDK 11 or 12 for the installation of this NetBeans IDE. IDE. And if you have already installed the JDK 11 and 12, then you can proceed with this video. Otherwise, you have to install JDK 12 first then you can continue with the installation of NetBeans 11 in this video. And guys, for the JDK installation, I have given the link of the video tutorial so you can follow that tutorial and then come back here for the installation of NetBeans with this tutorial. And guys, let's get started. So just open your favorite browser first. And then here you have to type download NetBeans. 11 and hit enter okay guys and you will see all these google results and here you have to click first one to right click open in the new tab and here you will see all these details about the netbeans 11 here are some useful stuff about the netbeans its feature and its releases so you guys can go through it for your knowledge okay and there are some useful links as well so you can visit and read more and now we have to click on this download link button and finally we will reach on the place where we can actually download this thing and it is the apache netbeans 11.1 and here is the link for the download so 11.1 version released on july 22 2019 okay and now we will click on this green download button Once you click, you will uh, uh, navigate it to the another page. So downloading Apache NetBeans and uh, here's the, some packages and binaries are uh, uh, shown. Okay, so these are the installer and uh, we are looking for the Windows 64 installer. So this is the first link that is useful for us and we will click on it. Okay, once you click, you will again uh, navigate it to the another page. And uh, this is the uh, useful link. That is the first link that we will click and the downloading will start. I don't know why Apache has done all these things and uh, moving to the next to next page for the downloading. So guys, you can see on the left side, the downloading is started. Okay guys, uh, 175 MB file exe is downloaded successfully. Now we will reach on the place where it is downloaded. And here's the exe file. So we have to just double click on it to launch this exe file. And guys, you will see the message for the windows. And here we have to click on the yes button. And uh, the installer will start. And you can see the installer progress it's keep going we have to wait until it finish and uh, the it's 100 percent done okay and we will see this welcome message and uh, then we will see on the bottom there's a next button so we have to click on this next button and uh, we will see the license agreement page as well and there's nothing uh, you can go through it and uh, click on the accept and then click the next button and you will see on this page here you can see the installation directory for uh, install the apache netbeans ide2 okay so netbeans 11.1 going inside the program files and here it is going to use the jdk 12.0.2 and guys if you have not the jdk 12 so you have to install it first so I suggest you so install the JDK 12 with uh, NetBeans 11 with JDK 12 so it will work effectively because it is designed around the JDK 11 or 12. Okay, if you have not installed so just install it. Uh, visit the link uh, tutorial link given in the description for the installation of JDK. 
if you have different version you can choose this as well but i am not sure on this i have proceeded with the jdk 12 so i suggest you to so download jdk 12 and click on the next and here you will see the the options there it will ask you you want to check for the updates on regular time interval so just checked it otherwise you can uncheck it if you don't want the updates click on the install button so installation will start and you can see all the useful program files of the NetBeans are extracted and uh, installing on your Windows system the guys completes uh, setup will take some time so I am moving forward and again it will uh, start a progress bar and it will check for the any updates from the internet this is also the part of the installation and it will take some time and finally you will see this message installation completed successfully and it is done now now we can click on the finish button here and finally you will see there is a icon for the NetBeans 11.1 .1 is present in your desktop you can see here Apache NetBeans ID 11.1 now it is ready to launch just do a click on it and it will start and first you will see this message this will be asked to you because it wants to import all the previous properties which is found in the NetBeans 8.0 in this system we have a NetBeans 8 previously installed but we have not installed it then we started the installation so it is asking to import all the previous properties so I don't want the previous properties and settings in this NetBeans ID so I have choosed no if you want to import all those previous settings in this NetBeans so you can click on the yes button and guys uh, this is started and NetBeans IDE home is ready to use and on this start page you can see lots of useful link Java and JavaFX UI application tutorials and here's the demo feature demo so you can click to start the feature demo you can learn more about this uh, NetBeans IDE there are some online documentation for the more learning on the NetBeans IDE we have a C++ application demo and tutorials and PHP and HTML5 applications development also there's a link take a tour so you will get the basic feature knowledge from this links and also there's a sample project link as well so there's a lots of stuff on this start page you can uh, go through step by step one by one and you will know more about the NetBeans IDE so guys this was the whole process for the installation of NetBeans IDE on Windows 10 I hope you found this video useful please like this video and share with your friends as well and guys please subscribe cool IT help and press the notification bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool IT help